Rev up your engines! If your fan belts are making squeaking noises, then today's your lucky day. Because I'm going to show you how to change a modern serpentine fan belt on your car. Now, to be politically correct, they don't call them fan belts anymore because they don't drive fans, they call them drive belts. Because if you look under here, you'll see the drive belt, but it doesn't drive any fans, so technically, drive belt is the right word. Now, the first thing you need is a pen and a piece of cardboard. And draw a picture of where the belt goes, because they go all over the place. And since one belt drives everything, hey, you want to make sure you get the right diagram to put it on correctly. Okay, so I'm not much of an artist, but at least I'll know where the belt goes. Now to get the belt off, you have to loosen the tensioner pulley. Now to find it, it's easy. You just grab the belt, uh, and you see that this pulley is moving, so that's the tensioner pulley. Now you really need a special tool to remove the serpentine belt. I've got this gear wrench serpentine tool remover with the 17 millimeter end on it. You just hook it up here to the bolt that loosens the tensioner pulley and then pull on it. As you pull it down, the belt gets loose and you can just take it off. And out comes the old fan belt. Then you get the new fan belt and fish it around most of the pulleys. You fish it over most of the pulleys. Then you put the tool back on the adjusting bolt, uh, push it down, and then slide the belt on. Uh, and off comes the tool. Then start off the car and make sure they're spinning right. And there's the new drive belt, all shiny and clean. So now you know how to change your own fan belt, and you're left with a work of art, too. And remember, if you've got any questions, just visit scottykilmer.com and I'll answer them as soon as I get done fixing this Volkswagen. <laughs>